Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Kitty and today I'm going to do something I've never done. So this is going to be definitely a learning experience for me. I have in front of me an 8x10 canvas and I'm going to try to do a resin pour. Colors I am using is Creative Inspirations Lamp Black. I'm just kind of stirring them right now. And um, I am using, let's see, here's a lamp black. There it goes. And I'm using Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. And Creative Inspirations Pearlescence. Liquitex Basics Dioxazine Purple, because you don't like blue and purple, right? <laughs> and Soho Magenta. Now, I'm not sure how the magenta is going to work out, because, and I'll show you here in a minute, I'm just stirring these up again. I have watched several videos, and, you know, resin, you have a 45 minute to an hour window, I believe, work time. So the Soho, I believe, are thicker. But look at this. I mean, it's really, I don't know, maybe it'll work. I had to put it in a bigger cup because I, I thought I had to put too much in there. But I'm, I'm just, you guys can't see. I don't know. It just, it, I don't know. I'm going to try it because trial and error, right? So, anyway, so I am going to get started. I have my heat gun. I have my uh, torch ready. I think I have everything. I have black. I have all my colors. So I'm going to actually time myself. All right, so I'm going to get started. I start with black. And I'm just going to kind of... Go around the edges here. Not really in any particular. I'm, I'm just, just doing it. I'm not really, I don't really have a design in mind. So. Just see what happens. And just in case I do have resin left over, I do have some tiles over here on the side. As you never know. Right, let's try this magenta. And the cobalt blue. Okay. Now for the pearl essence, white, very pretty and sparkly. So I'm going to take my heat gun, um, I believe, um, I think I do the torch first. I'm going to actually move it around a little bit. Okay. 
the torch it. Get some of those bubbles. Now you don't want to leave it on for too long. You just want to pop bubbles because it will catch fire. <laughs> and when you heat it up, it, it heating it up, it does make it flow better. But it also, I think it drops down the time. So I'm going to turn on my heat gun so it might get loud. Maybe. I'm going to tilt it and see if you guys see that little, <laughs> that little white spot right there. So hopefully I can, hopefully I have enough on here. I know I say that all the time. I really do. I know. I'm just going to kind of help it along a little bit. I'm going to just help it along over here so it doesn't have so far to go. Wow, look at that. It's pretty. So I'm I'm really not sure if I did it right, but I guess it takes about 24 hours to cure. So um, I guess I won't know until then. 
So I'm going to make sure everything is covered. And then I will I'm going to um, torch. So let me wipe my hands, my fingers. I'm going to torch the bubbles out. And I actually see something right here. Okay. And let's see, did we get all the bubbles? Now resin is self-leveling, so that's a good thing. You don't have to worry about There's some bubbles in there. All right, I'm going to use my heat gun. Pretty. You like it. Okay, I'm going to. It's kind of bald over here, but I, I think it's okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bring you guys. Let me let me wipe this off and I'll bring it up for a close up. And I don't want to get too excited because. I mean, I hope I um, mixed them right and you know all that. So if I didn't, I'll be bummed. But let me bring it in. It's really pretty. I love it. How awesome is that? What do you guys think? My first resin pour. I hope it dries just like that. Really do. Okay. All right. So I do have some resin left. And I think I will do a tile or two. <clears throat> Maybe I'll have time to do another. Yeah, I think I'll do a tile. So actually, let me I'll move this over. And I will do that right here, right now. All right. So this.
This is a six by six ceramic tile. It's already taped on the back and I cleaned it with alcohol before um, I started just in case. So it's all nice and clean. So I am going to, I'm just gonna turn for I do have some time left and I have quite a bit of resin here. I do not want it to go to waste for sure. Because resin is not cheap. Okay. Right. Black's gone. Yay. A little bit of purple. Now, you do have to stir resin for, I think it's like two minutes. Um, just to make sure it all gets incorporated and, and just mixed really well. Um, so it is time consuming, but the end result, I really hope that dries <laughs> really well, but the end result is just amazing. And I really hope that dries just like that. That would be great. I don't know why I did that. All right, going for that magenta. I have a lot of it left, but just not really sure. All right, that's, and the white. Pearl Essence. So it's got a shimmer to it. <clears throat> and um, what else? Oh, the, the cobalt blue is, is metallic also. So it's got that shimmer. And if I did it correctly, also the, I add some iridescent white to the, the purple to see if it would get that shimmer too. And it looks like it did, but. Um, I, I've never done that before, so hopefully I did it right. All right, bubbles, and let's do the heat gun. Tilting tiles are a little more difficult than a painting because you really 
don't have a lot to hold on to. There. And then you really don't want to mess up your corners, you know? Go all the way to the other side. back. So if I did this right and it all works out and they come out gorgeous, I tell you I'm going to be doing a whole lot more resin pours. Because they're not only fun, um, you know, when, when they're cured, like they're done. <laughs> No, no varnishing, you know, no resining because it's resin, so it's done. And they come out so awesome. I'm just trying to get that corner. Bring that back. So, oh. they are so slippery. Really, I'm going this way. Yep, nope, going back the other way. Trying to get it on the straight. All right. Well, I don't know. Has anybody ever tried to get skins from resin? I don't know. I'm just kind of adding that edges here. I don't know why, just habit. So, well, before I set it down, I probably should have brought it up to you guys. All right, let me wipe my hands and I'm going to torch it again. <clears throat> so the heat gun helps you manipulate the resin, the colors, because it heats it up and it allows it to move easily. It helps it flow. So I'm going to torch it again real quick. Make sure there's no bubbles. And then I am going to well Okay, I kind of don't want to touch it, but I mean, I'll probably, I'll show you guys uh, when it's completely dry. It's so pretty. I hope you guys can see it good. But look, matching. 
I really hope they dry well. I hope I did it right. If not, then I learned. And um, yeah, tell me what you guys think. Tell me what you think I did wrong. What did I do wrong? What did I do it right? Um, if you are experienced in this, um, just what could I have done different? What should I, you know, anything, any comments. Um, tell me what you think. Please like and share my video and um, hit that bell so you'll be notified of the next video that I post. And um, yeah, thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you again soon. Bye.